Hey, what's going on, Crammers? Hope you're doing well. If you're still feeling a little stressed for your upcoming Python exam, I strongly recommend you check out the Python Cram Kit. It is seriously your master key to answering any extended response problem correctly on your exam. But enough about that. Let's jump into the print function. So what is the print function? Essentially imagine this, you've got a post note in front of you and on it you're going to write your three to-do list items for the day. Take out the trash, do the dishes, and send out your party invites because you're in college. So when you're writing those three to-do list items on that post note, essentially you're accomplishing what a print function does but in the real world. The print function enables you to write content directly into your output of your Python program when you press run. So that's what the print function does in Python terms. So how do you code a print function? The template is this, we have print and then in parentheses, whatever content we want to print in our output. Um, so for our post note example, our first item was to take out the trash. So we would say print and then in parentheses, we would say take out the trash. If we were to run this program, we would get one line of code saying take out the trash, but we gotta remember our other two to-do list items. So to include those, we would say print, do the dishes and print, send out party invites. Now when we run the program, we get all three of our to-do list items in the output. Say we wanted to include empty lines in between our to-do list items. How can we accomplish that? Well, actually just writing print will place those empty lines in our output. So to do so with this example, we would just put print and print in between our to-do list items. And then when we run this now, we get that empty line that we desired in our output. With the post-it note, we were printing strings, but you can also print integers and floats, the other two data types that you'll be working with in Python. For more information on the difference between strings, integers, and floats, I recommend you check out this video on data types. But just for a quick example of using print with an integer, we could print one, two, three and get this in our output. Or for a float, we could print 150.52 and get this in our output. You can use a print function with strings, integers, and floats just fine. All right, now that we have an idea of what the print function is and how we can code it, let's do a little practice problem here. So, create a new trinket file and code a print function that writes hello there on the first line, then what's going on below it. Separate these sentences with an empty line. Your final output should look like this. If I was to code this, I'm first gonna start with the hello there line. So, I'm gonna type in here print, and then what's the content that I'm going to print there? Well, as we said before, it's hello there. So, I'm gonna type hello there. Okay, let's run this and make sure it works. Okay, perfect. We got hello there in the output. Now for the second line, what is it that we want to see in our output? In the problem it said we want to see what's going on. So I'm going to do very similar here, print, and then I'm going to type what's going on right here. I'm going to run it. Okay, perfect. We see those two desired sentences in our output, but we're missing one thing. If we reread the problem, it says separate these sentences with an empty line. How do we do that? As we covered before, we need to place an empty print statement in between, and when we run it, as you can see, our lines are then separated. 